<laughs> sat down. <laughs> My chair is like turning me completely around. So um, I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh, I want to do another video. I have time. It's, you know, I have to go get Deacon here in just a little bit. But um, I'm like, what am I going to talk about? And I'm like, just what's going on in my life and cleaning. And I did a video about it Sunday. It was a really crappy, my phone late at night, chatty type nonsense vlog. And, um, it kind of just, it still resonates with me so much because I'm still so focused on getting my house in order for the fall. And not that you have to like, and, and I know that you guys can relate to this, but I feel like the year, goes like like this and it's it's actually it's more like like this like busy 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 like oh a little bit of downtime for a week or two and then you're like busy for months and then like downtime in a week or two and for some miraculous reason that I'm unaware of I'm in the midst of one of those like downtimes and I feel like I need to take full advantage of it before life gets crazy again Halloween is going to be here in two weeks like Ah, you know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> so it's like busy, 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 busy. And then like, like for me, the summers are so busy. And then it just kind of like, and then the beginning of school's crazy. So maybe I actually have like two dips a year. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, f maybe March and now. Yeah, I, that's about right. So like, life is like this, crazy, simple, crazy, simple. And then it just repeats on a never ending cycle. So maybe that's why spring cleaning and fall cleaning exist. That's probably the reason, and I'm just now realizing at 30. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm one of those people that has to like learn on my own, like hands-on learner. All right, that was pointless. But um, anyways, so I'm working on fall cleaning, and I've done a lot. So I've steam cleaned. I you cleaned out my pantry. Well, that was actually not on purpose. That was because I will show you. Drake decided it would be a really, really fun idea to open the pantry and like, you know, how kids will like pull to like look up on something. Yeah, he pulled the shelf, broke the pegs, glass and jars are everywhere. I'm whipping eggs for breakfast. I turn around and somehow I was like, move. And I don't even know where I put the eggs or how it happened or or what, but I was able to move them before he got like cut to shreds. I have a picture of it. I actually posted it on my Instagram because it was, I mean, it was gnarly. Like here, I'll show you guys. Like, can you see that? Oh, come on, focus. Don't be a brat. Just hold my, is it not gonna focus? I mean, seriously. Oh, there you go. So see, that was just, I mean, tons of mason jars just shattered and those things, Focus on me now, I know it's impossible. It will eventually, right? There we go. Um, those things are just like impossible to clean up. So I mean, g like, you can't put them in a bag because the shreds, the shards of glass are like so fierce. It's just, <sighs> it was a nightmare. So anyways, I cleaned out my pantry. That was, that was a long story short. I um, purged more toys. The kids are down to like such the bare basics with toys. And it feels so good and it seems so, part of me feels cruel because they go in their toy room and it's like oh they've got maybe like five things but they are playing with those things and respecting them more and it's just like it's been better so anyways I did that more of that I rearranged the boys room and I did that for two reasons one because I wanted to clean out underneath the beds I wanted it to feel like there was more room before they had one little tiny walkway between their beds to get to like the the seat where I sit and read at and it just wasn't it would just, it just, there wasn't enough floor space and it was like a T kind of, and it was just hard to keep clean. So I rearranged their beds and I was hoping to, by doing that, it would help with nightmares because Deacon's still waking up with nightmares. So they're still pretty much sleeping with me all the time because Deacon wakes up from nightmares. I'll go in there and I'll fix them once or twice. And then finally I'm just like, I'm done. Like I'm done. And then he's woken up Drake. So Drake's in bed with me and, and Drake's really early bird. So oh, it's just, and then Drake wakes up and he's like, I didn't dream about anything. And Deacon's like, I didn't dream about anything. I'm like, dude, I was up with you five times last night. You dreamt about a lot. Like, for instance, your pumpkin that you carved yourself last night was too scary. Are you serious? Like, are you serious? Uh, the dreams that child has are just too much for me. Um, so anyways, he, I, I was hoping by rearranging his beds, maybe it would just kind of like, mix things up a little bit like I know I sleep a little differently when my room is is changed for the first few weeks or 
whatever. I, that sounds probably crazy, but maybe you know what I mean. And I just cleaned a lot. So I did all that. And then now I'm like, oh, and I did like all my baseboards, my walls. There's a point to this video. I will get to it. Um, now I'm like, I should take my plants outside and hose my plants off. And I should, you know, do some of that kind of stuff. And yeah, but anyways, the point of this video, my question was, what are you guys doing? A lot of people, because sometimes when I'm like, well, what should I talk about this weekend? I'll go back to my old videos and I'll look through my old videos and I'll answer questions. But a lot of people are like, I'm doing it too. And I'm in the middle of that too. And I need to do this and I need to do that. And I want to do that. And I did this. And I'm curious, what are you guys doing? Like, what am I missing? What, what else could I be working on, you know? that could really help clean the house and make it easier for you know the new year i did some i did some pretty extreme you know what i'll put in it i'll put it in right now because i didn't i don't know what else i'm gonna do with it but i had just like this this moment with the crayons so anyways the crayons are nice and organized now and my friend actually the one who watches drake i gave her all the broken ones and she is and I gave her like a letter a silicone letter mold so she's like making new crayons today with them and with the kids and things like that and um it was you know that's the one man's trash is another man's treasure that's like case in point right there um what else yeah so I guess just if you have anything that you're working on or something that's like a big project or Something that is weighing heavy on your shoulders. For me, it's the plant. That plant, you guys know which one I'm talking about. In my room, the really big corn plant, I've had it for, let's think about this now. I've had that plant for 13 years. So, and I brought it back from the dead twice. <laughs> um, my cousin had originally like murdered it and I brought it back. And then my ex-husband had left it outside in the snow because he knew how much my plants meant to me and it pretty much died, but I stuffed it in my sob and I mean, it was like we were in a jungle and um, brought it back again. I don't know why I have such sentiment towards that plant, but I do. So anyways, I need to wash it, but it weighs like a million pounds. <laughs> um, so that's one of the things that's on my list. What else? My pantry, that was on my list, but thank you, Drake, for making me have to do it. I guess, you know, just some other cabinets and stuff. But are you interested in seeing it? Like, is that something you guys are interested in? Or, you know, what are you guys doing? And are you doing any videos on it? If you are, leave them below. I'd love to watch them for inspiration and ideas and motivation, etc. Um, yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee now before I go get Deacon from school. I'm sleepy today, but um, I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys later, bye.